Hey guys, how's it going? Today is day 13 of my solid food vacation. I'm going strong. The last few days have been a bit challenging. So I didn't feel like vlogging, plus I was busy, so I'll catch you guys up here. Um, day before yesterday, I felt like I didn't drink enough juice. I was super hungry, it was challenging, and I was busy with work too. So the next day, which was yesterday, day 12, I injured my back. I pulled a muscle, and it was really tough to get my juices going. You know, you have to stand there and juice. And I also had a um, melon belly attack again, so that was uncomfortable while I have all that excruciating back pain. But amazingly, I recovered so fast from that, which... I don't think I would have had I not been juicing because normally from an injury that felt that intense, I, I should still feel it today, but today I'm normal. I'm fine. So that was pretty cool. Oh, and I had, um, I had an enema because I felt pretty constipated. Like I wanted to go to the bathroom and I couldn't. That's what constipation is. Well, <laughs> an enema really helped it get going and I felt great after that. And I had the most vivid, intense, dreams last night. I even woke up to feed my cat and then I went back to sleep and had more dreams and then I still woke up early and yeah and here I am day 13. So um, another thing I'm going to do is get outside and get sunshine today because the last two days have been lacking on sunshine. We had a lot of rain and it just wasn't possible and I think just feeling the sunshine coming in, it just makes me a little bit happier. So I'm going to try to get a lot of work done so I can enjoy a little free time as well. And I'll catch up with you guys later. Cheers. So guys, I have another message for you. If you don't feel like you're ready to do a long juice fast or you don't have the schedule or the um, ability or, or just you don't want to risk it or whatever you whatever doubt you have in your mind um just know that you could take it one day at a time you know you could do a one day juice fast a two day juice fast or even do a uh, juice fasting half the day and then just have a dinner at night for for like a week just to see how you feel um that's what i did going into this and then i slowly got you know um more used to it after juicing all day and like a small dinner at night, whether it be a cooked dinner or a fruit dinner to start, that really helped me adjust. And, you know, if you want to dive into this straight away, go for it. But, you know, you, you might feel different. I don't know. You might, you might have, that might, that might be the trick for you. That might be the way everyone's going to have a different approach or different method. So, um, I just think it's beautiful that it's our own individual journey, which is why, you know, they call it the hero's journey. So if you haven't heard of what the hero's journey is, it's a hero is someone who solves a problem that no one else can solve, which is for you, you know, we're our own heroes. We have to do the work. We have to put the work in for ourselves. And there are no shortcuts, I think, that this is one of the best ways. This is the true red pill to exit the matrix, to juice and to get rid of the filth. And even if it's just for a little while, you know, that's just amazing to me that you could just do something for just a little while to have massive results. So um, also, you know, coming off of your juice fast is also very important because you want to make sure you're putting in good things afterwards because a lot of people can do juice fast and get off their juice fast and then go back to eating the way they were and they gain all the weight back. So, um, and it's not about weight loss or anything, by the way, for me personally, it's not about, I love my weight before and I love my weight now. So it was never about weight. I just want to be healthy and clean and I want to do this while I'm young, while it's easy and I can prevent um, things in the future. So I'm just doing it as, a, as an insurance and just to learn about myself and do a lot of internal work and healing and a lot of, um, you know, self-discipline comes along too. So if you could do something like this and succeed, you have control over yourself, you're, you have control in other areas of your life. And, you know, I don't, I'm not promoting not eating 
this is again a temporary thing we do this is fasting this is all animals in nature fast can do this you know this is what sick animals in nature do they stop eating and that actually gives that body energy to heal so when we're coming up with emotions or things come up to the surface such as like right now i'm getting memories out of nowhere um they're coming up to heal because now the environment is right so these these things bubble up to the surface to be dealt with. And normally, these are the things that we suppress by eating. We eat away our pain, our emotions, our traumas. And when that is not there anymore, these things come up. So be ready for that and just understand that this is a time to heal. So maybe withdrawing from, from people or certain places or things is also very healthy to do. And that's okay. And you deserve it. And you should take the time to love yourself first and i just wanted to say that because i love you guys and i want to see us all rise higher and vibrate higher to a heaven that we could finally see on earth